It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 29th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather changing over the weekend. Clouds come back. Some rain at times tomorrow night and Sunday morning. But the good news, we do not expect any severe weather and probably no thunderstorms. So let's take a look. Here's the upper air look. Again, a very active pattern here. Very high amplitude. We have a trough out west. And around here, we still have a northwest flow aloft and a pretty dry air mass in place. We did see a few fall streak holes earlier today, the old hole punch clouds. Uh, that happens when super cool water droplets abruptly freeze. The ice crystals then fall. They leave a hole behind. That process often initiated by a passing aircraft. But many folks in Alabama and Georgia saw those today. Temperatures are close to average. Birmingham 52, Anniston Gadsden 51, Tuscaloosa 55. will be close to 60 tomorrow. Mid-60s are likely on Sunday. There's the watch warning map. Winter storm watch is in effect for Chicago and Indianapolis. Also for the mountains of North Carolina, parts of Virginia, Maryland, up into New Jersey. The severe weather outlook through tonight. Maybe some scattered pockets of thunder for Texas and Oklahoma and back in the southwest. No severe weather expected. Tomorrow there is a marginal risk now defined over parts of Arkansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. But no thunder expected here. And then on day three, Sunday, maybe some thunder south and east of Alabama. This is the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals for the northern part of Alabama. Amounts over the Tennessee Valley could exceed one inch. Around one inch for Birmingham, then under one half inch for the southern part of the state. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at three. Negative tilt shortwave out across the plains. And often when you see that, you worry about severe storms. There's a surface low that's over eastern Kansas, and that's why we have a marginal risk over Arkansas and Oklahoma, south and east of that. But for us, during the day tomorrow, the weather should be dry, clouds gradually increasing, the high 56 to 60. And then tomorrow night, rain moves in here. Surface low is north of St. Louis. But there's no surface-based instability. So, uh, again, there could be some elevated thunder maybe, but no chance of any severe weather. And then by Sunday afternoon at 3, the bulk of the rain is out of here. So it still looks like a lot of the rain will fall between midnight tomorrow night and 12 noon Sunday. Rain amounts about a half inch. And, again, no severe weather worries. And Sunday should be pretty mild. Again, we're going to be up in the middle 60s. But don't get used to it because Monday, here comes cold air. Uh, thickness values come way down up in the Tennessee Valley. They could be in the 30s all day. Highs for uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, maybe low to mid 40s. Uh, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, maybe a few flurries over East Tennessee. Tuesday, we're dry. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be around 50. Wednesday, sunny with a high in the upper 50s. And Thursday, here comes our next weather system. That looks like a good snowstorm for parts of Iowa and Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, that rain will likely come in here Thursday night. We notice secondary low on the front, but again, models at this point show absolutely no surface-based instability. So for the moment, severe weather not expected late next week. And this is a week from today, Friday the 5th, broad troughing to the west, and the front stalls out, and this is suggesting rain continues into the day Friday of next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Monday the 8th, same deal, trough in the west, ridge off the Atlantic coast, and again, evidence we could see some rain falling at that point. But just rain. Snow lovers, this does not look good. This is the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next uh, 15 days through the 13th of February, and just not much there. That's noise. Rain for Birmingham off the same model, the mean around 3 inches. Temperatures, we warm up to 64 on Sunday, but look at Monday, the high only at 43. This is the national blend of models for Birmingham. Then we warm up to 63 next Thursday. Then highs drop back in the 50s, but still no sign of any really nasty, cold, bitterly cold Arctic air for the next 15 days. And the latest CPC outlook, this is for the 6th through the 12th of February. The western two-thirds of the country, very cold. Temperatures above average for Florida and parts of the southeast. And for Alabama, temperatures near, maybe slightly above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be posted by 6 a.m. Monday. If you can, watch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.